everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I am so excited that you're here today. I have a fun video for you today that's a little bit different than normal. I have been doing some brush lettering, as you can see here in the photos. Um, I started this little journey in December of 2015, so just a couple months ago, and it's something that I'm really love loving doing. Um, I've always wanted to learn how to brush letter, and here's one of my projects. And um, it's just something that I find really relaxing and fun. So we're going to jump in and I'm going to kind of explain to you how I got into this and what it is exactly that I'm showing you here. Um, basically, I got into this because I just love the way it looks and I always wanted to do it. And so the more I've seen it online and stuff, the more I've thought, well, maybe I am capable of this. And I'm really bad about saying, well, I couldn't do that. That's not something I'm capable of. And kind of discounting myself. I lack confidence when it comes to trying new things. So I decided that, you know what, I can do this. I'm going to try it and I'm going to do it because I believe that it's possible. So um, you can see I'm right here, brush lettering. I'm using Pelican watercolor paints, and um, they're just a really in inexpensive paint that you can get on Amazon. And I'm using a little bitty um, brush that comes in a kit that I use from Windsor & Newton. And I'm lettering the word hibiscus because I'm taking part in a challenge from Random Olive, which is where I learned how to brush letter. Um, or at least the basics and um, so anyways I'm taking part in her challenge and she is doing a flower a day so today's flower is hibiscus and that's the one that I've practiced and that I'm doing and it's really amazing you can see the progression um, of everybody's projects as you watch and go through uh, Instagram like if you were to go to Instagram and um, type in hashtag uh, brush lettering practice challenge, you're going to find several people's um, creations. Some are much better than others. Some you can tell are brand new. I'm brand new. You can definitely see that in some of my stuff. So here I'm using an aqua painter, which is something I'm a little bit more comfortable with using, but it gives you a wider line. So basically today's video is just to show you that it is possible to do anything you want to do and for you to go over to my blog and you can find out all my tips and ideas for getting started doing this. You really don't need a lot of stuff. Um, I highly recommend getting um, Random Olives um, tutorial. It's $27 I think. I am an affiliate so I just want to let you know that. Um, but she's amazing and she, I really have learned a lot from her and I'm still learning a lot. I mean, I'm nowhere near expert, but it gets better each time I do it and each time I practice and I really love it and it's very, very, very therapeutic for me. So, um, sorry about my head here in the camera. It's kind of hard to do without putting my head over the top. I'm really slow, as you can see. I move really, really slow because I really have to think about giving a really light touch on my upstrokes and a harsher touch on my downstroke and trying to get all the letters the same size and the same width and the same height. And that's something that I struggle with a little bit. So um, it'll come along. It's one of those things, like I said, that just will continue to come along and I'll get better and better and better at it. So I've brush lettered a few pieces for friends and um, given them little goodies and stuff. And they hang it up because they love me and they're supporting me. But by no means is it really a piece of art, that's for sure. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just really having fun doing this. And I think it's one of the most relaxing things you can do. I usually get up in the morning and get my daughter off to school and then the next thing I do when I get home is I either turn on Joyce Meyer's ministry um, DVDs or CDs or listen to her on YouTube or some classical music 
or even some Christian music. And I just sit and brush letter and kind of meditate on what I want to do that day and what I need to do that day and what God wants me to do that day. <laughs> and stuff like that. So um, it's just a good way to spend some time alone within yourself and just um, kind of focus in on the good and um, the things that you're thankful for and stuff like that. So here I'm just adding a little bit of like greenery stuff. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doodling around and adding some greenery. This is such a subject that is like fish out of water for me because I really have no clue what I'm doing. So I'm just playing and adding stuff and doing fun things and um, not worrying too much about how perfect stuff is because I just think that that's something we get so hung up on as adults is we worry so much about the outcome of something that sometimes we don't just let things be. And I watch my daughter who's seven and she is just so amazing because she will color something or create something just with not a care in the world, not stressing over what the outcome's going to be, not worrying about if it's going to be good or bad. She just enjoys what she's doing. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to grasp that. All right. If you want to check out more videos, you can click on the images above. Make sure you subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.